Hey, Geek here. Um, I apologize for the crudeness of the video, first off, because I'm at work on my break. Anyway, I don't really know what this episode's about. I just decided I wanted to make something. I wanted to talk about a few things. Um, so, I guess the first thing I wanted to talk about, I guess, is Star Wars. Um, so, apparently, Disney bought Star Wars two weeks ago, and they are now moving forward with another trilogy. Um... I guess I don't really know how I feel about it. I think it's funny, four people texted me that day. I worked all day and I didn't even realize that it had happened. And when I got off work, I got a text message just like, are you feeling better? Uh, how are you feeling right now? And I was like, what's going on? And they were like, Disney just bought Lucasfilm for $4.4 billion. And my my world was sh shaken for a little while. It was a little nuts. Um, but... It, I think it's the right move, I guess. Maybe Disney and Star Wars are kind of like this already because, they're, you know, there's Star Wars at all their theme parks and stuff like that. I think they're going to take good care of it. I just hope they find a good director. Uh, Disney doesn't really make bad movies. Um, I, if I had my choice... Well, first off, I'd want to direct it, you know what I mean? But, you know, that's not going to happen. But, actually, I'd be nervous, but I'd direct it. Um... But I wouldn't mind John Favreau or J.J. Abrams. J.J. Abrams has already kind of said that he doesn't really want to because it's his favorite movies also, just like me. Um, so, yeah, but the... Um, uh, I guess, like, I'm just... I, I'm curious to see where they're going to take all of it because they said that it's going to be Star Wars 7. It's going to pick up where Jedi left off. And uh, I'm a little nervous to, with the whole, I don't know, having Mark Hamill and Carrie Fisher and Harrison Ford and stuff like that in it again. But, uh, you know, I have confidence in the company. I'm sure that they... I'm sure that it's going to be good. I mean, it's going to be part of the family and I'm going to love it no matter what. Um, something else. I don't really talk about video games that much, but I played Halo 4. Uh, this week, and I liked it a lot. Um, I'm in, I'm in in the closet Halo player. I love uh, the first Halo, just Halo One though, and I, uh, you know, that's kind of like my bread and butter when it comes to first person shooters. I don't know. I have issues with shooting terrorists or people that look like people. So I don't know. Just call me a wuss. That's why I don't really play Call of Duty or anything like that. But I love the first Halo, and I've kind of liked all the other Halos. I didn't really care for Halo Two. Halo Three was okay, and then uh, Reach and ODS. ST were also okay. I enjoyed playing them. Um, but Halo 4 really just seems like, it seems, I, uh, I only played the first four levels, but I really liked what I played. Um, it was very story driven. I'm sorry also for the shakiness of it. Uh, the, again, this is very crude how I made the, this little setup and everything. I apologize again. Um, but, uh, yeah, I had a lot of fun. It was very story driven. It got back to basics. They're on a whole new, uh, they're uh, on a Forerunners kind of planet ship thing, which is kind of like reminiscent of Halo in the sense that you're just kind of like all alone. But at the same time, you're not doing uh, a... Uh, a uh, there's Andrew. Um, <laughs> there is also uh, whatever the... the I don't the military that the chief works for, one of their ships gets sucked in as well, along with him. And so he is, uh, so you're not technically all by yourself. That's cool. There's definitely a lot of, like, cool missions where you're running around where there's warthogs and scorpions and you're doing all kinds of stuff. It's not just you versus the world. When at the beginning it was kind of you versus the world. Granted, I've only played the first four levels, so, but I liked it a lot. Um... Yeah, I guess that's really all I wanted to talk about. Um, in comics right now, the Joker's back in the new with uh, with the new Batman stuff, and um, it's exciting. It's really cool. Uh, it's only two issues in, so if you uh, you want to get on board with that, it's really sweet. Joker's second appearance in the new Fifty Two. He showed up in the first issue of Batman, but then disappeared. He's been gone for a whole year. Now he's back. And it's going across, he's after the whole Batman family. So super exciting. So comics, yay. First four levels of Halo 4, yay. Star Wars getting bought out by Disney. Eh. But yeah, um, that's really it. I just kind of wanted to make a quick video. So yeah, but I uh, hope you're all having a good day. And uh, I will talk to you soon.